So as you have probably figured out by now, you are much cooler than I am. And today's video is going to demonstrate just how uncool and old I am. But with age, I like to think comes style wisdom because there are some things, some trends, some popular trends that are going on right now that make my eyes bleed. But today, gentlemen, it's okay. I'm going over 10 popular trends that I think suck with a capital suck. Please note, these are just my opinions. If your opinion differs than mine, it's absolutely a-okay. And while we're speaking of thumbs up, why don't you give this video a big Alpha M thumbs up to say, yo Alpha, we dig you, even though you're a geezer. The first popular style trend that I think sucks is round sunglasses. In my opinion, round sunglasses look terrible on most every single person that wears them. The one exception is John Lennon, but he's dead, so there's zero people that look good in round glasses. Number two is Richard Mille watches. The tennis player Rafael Nadal rocks Richard Mille watches. He, I think, is sponsored by them. And they're big. They're big, like, robotic looking watches that cost like $150,000. The third popular style trend that I think is ridiculous and kind of sucks is the whole, like, big hat, like, thing. All these dudes are starting to rock these big hats, which honestly make them look Amish. I really think that those big hats, they make people look Amish. Not that there's anything wrong looking Amish. Number four is drop crotch pants. What the hell is going on with these drop crotch pants? Like, do you guys, you guys are too young to remember MC Hammer. Well, everybody that I see wearing drop crotch pants, I think, oh my God, hammer time. It was the man, but his pants were terrible. And guess what? They still are. The fifth popular style trend that I think sucks is muffin top. What's that? It's not a trend. It's 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 an epidemic of massive, saggy, disgusting proportion. Gentlemen, here's the deal. Why would you go muffin top when there are KK and J, Shirt Tail Garters, today's video sponsor, and the most amazing thing to happen to tucking in a shirt since shirts? I would now like to demonstrate the sheer amazingness of KK and J, Shirt Tail Garters. What? No muffin top here, amigo. Why? Because I'm rocking a pair of KK and J's. I can jump. I can twist. I can hammer time. So KK and J did not invent the shirt tail garters. They've just perfected them. They've been around for years. The military uses them to make sure that they're staying tight and looking incredible. The way that it works, shirt tail garters, they attach to your shirt at the top, in the front and the back. There's also a strap that attaches to your sock, preventing your sock from falling down. It sort of looks like a suspension right this attaches to your stock this to the front of your shirt this to your back and basically it's gentle tension that keeps your shirt tucked in so all day long you're looking polished presentable and eliminating the muffin top I absolutely love the KK and J shirt tail garters guys if you have not checked out the website if you have not treated yourself to at least one pair there's a link down below that link is going to give you a discount there's a discount code to grab a pair of KK and J's for yourself these are a must-have in my opinion because at some point in your life you're gonna need to be like walking around with your shirt tucked in and you got two options you can walk around looking like a saggy bag of potatoes or you're cool because you're rocking a pair of KK and J's gentlemen KK and J's are a style secret weapon KK and J's are just an amazing product so grab yourself a pair and while you're there think about Christmas because these make an amazing gift for for dad for your weird uncle Barry for any dude in your life who tucks his shirt in because chances are if they're not wearing them, they got a muffin top. The sixth popular trend that makes my eyes, it doesn't even make my eyes bleed. It makes me chuckle inside because in my mind, I'm thinking that Kanye West and all these dudes that are developing these ugly ass, big orthopedic looking sneakers are thinking to themselves, come on, Kanye, make them as ugly as possible. And he's like, dude, really? You think they'll wear them? Of course they'll wear them because you're Kanye. Come on. They're ugly. You know, you know that they're ugly. Remember, I'm old and uncool. Number seven is denim on denim. But not just any denim. Denim that matches. Something that I've seen a lot of dudes doing is like denim that kind of matches. They've got a denim shirt on, denim pants, and a denim jacket in, in some cases. Now, I am a huge fan of the denim shirt. I love them. I am a humongous fan of jeans. I mean, you can't live without them. And denim jackets are sweet as sugar, but if you're going to wear them, they're 
there needs to be a difference in the color of the denim. Eighth popular style trend that I think kind of sucks is buttoned all the way up. I personally hate the way this looks. It makes me feel like a huge like nerd. Um, you know, I am a firm believer that one, two, possibly, if you're a little more into the man cleavage, three looks a lot more like just better. Maybe not this, but <laughs> but this looks better than this. My popular trend that I still hate is boat shoes. And last, but certainly not least, the tenth popular style that I'm seeing like all over the place that are like, what the hell is going on? Is big, baggy oversized, humongous, gigantic shirts. The oversized shirt craze that's going on right now, I think is a huge mistake. In my opinion, dudes look a lot better when their clothing fits their body and makes them look tall. Oversized shirts, oversized like pants, all the big stuff that people are wearing makes people look shorter. It makes them look ill proportioned. It just doesn't make them or do much in terms of the aesthetic. Um, but that's just me. I know that I'm uncool. I'm also old, but if you dig this old guy, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and I'll be sure to do another video that makes you realize how uncool I am and how much cooler you are than me.